morning. Okay, so this is a follow-up video to the mailbag that I did, or boring mailbag, just the other day. And it is not, I repeat, not a uh, paid endorsement of any kind. I purchased this with my own money. Uh, so what I had done is I, after watching several of Julian Olette's uh, videos regarding whatever it is that he's building, uh, some kind of vocoder. I don't know why. Uh, he doesn't really, uh, if he ever explained it, it was in an early video that I can't find. But anyways, uh, he kept showing these circuit boards and they were so well done. I, uh, and then he was showing the software that was used to make it. I was interested and so I went to their site, downloaded the software, and started using it. And the first thing I made was a, a self-latching relay circuit. And all this is, it's a simple circuit. It's the one that I used in the previous video for the AC, the remote AC uh, that I used to turn on the air conditioning in my shop in the summertime so I don't have to stumble out here at 3 in the morning, 4 in the morning to get the place to cool down. I just go to the back room and turn on a key and that activates a, a relay here in the shed and turns on the air conditioning. If there's ever a power outage the relay would disengage and if and the AC would would stay off. It wouldn't come back on which you know that's you always want a, something that is, if it's going to fail, it's going to fail safe. So anyways, um, I had been building those off of prototyping boards, perf boards, whatever you want to call it. And that worked okay, but the circuit for this, um, when you look at it, it's kind of a little bit confusing. And when you actually go to wire it... Uh, if you mess up, it, it it just doesn't work. And I wanted something that I could just throw together. That I, if I needed one of these, I just slap a relay on it, whatever voltage I want, and put a couple of switches, power, uh, whatever I need, and and then put it put it in a box. So let's zoom in here and. I'll go over this real quick. Uh, this is fairly simple circuit. Of course you plug in the relay here. Um, you have power that comes in here marked B plus and negative B minus. Uh, one of the things I had in my haste to make this circuit is I had made, I didn't pay attention to the size of these uh, holes and so the maximum wire that can fit in here is uh, about 22 gauge which for powering this relay and maybe a, a, a sub relay or two would be fine um, I only plan on putting about 12 volts at maybe one or two amps maximum in this and I had designed it, uh, one thing I did look up was how big the traces needed to be for two amps and these traces are are just fine for that so anyways we have a an option here for a switch that is normally open so that's a switch when you push it it closes and then we have a switch here which is normally closed and that's a switch when you push it it opens and that's required for this uh, self latching relay circuit uh, because when you hit this uh, normally open switch that completes the circuits powers the relay and then the power continues to go through this normally closed switch 
and when you break that switch that opens the circuit and turns off the relay. Uh, I planned ahead and I put in holes for adding sub boards so this board could actually control up to three other boards or optionally it could just control uh, a wire that goes to a larger relay to power a more heavy duty relay like in the remote air conditioning remote that I made. Um, there is provisions for an LED and a resistor for said LED and you can put any size uh, relay on this one that's 5, 6, 9, 12, 24 volts uh, then you just have to get a relay, I'm sorry, a resistor that's the right value for the LED to bring it down to the 2.8 to 3 volts that most LEDs use. Um, let's see. This marked UU is unused, and that was just to get the, I mean, it wasn't necessary. You can leave it out, um, though the, the software kind of complains if uh, you don't have all your pads going to something. I think that has to do with when they they test it automatically. Uh, they have a robot that checks all these lines match all the other ones. So. Uh, I had ordered blue circuit boards, but because I had ordered them, I didn't realize it. It was the Chinese Lunar New Year, and if I had ordered any color other than green, then I would have had to wait an additional two weeks for them to even make the boards. As, and then, of course, with that whole virus hitting, um, I think that caused problems as well. Uh, I did a second batch of circuits. I did four other circuit boards that I'll hopefully get here in another two weeks. Uh, which reminds me that I ordered these to be shipped by registered mail, which is the least expensive option. If you're going to do that, just be warned, you probably will not get your circuit boards for a month. Mine took 27 days, and I don't know how much of that was attributed to the virus. My second order um, shipped after the initial hullabaloo was over with, and we'll see how, how soon that one arrives. It still looks like it's going to be at least three weeks. Uh, if you ship a DHL, I think it's less than two. Anyways, um, so, anyways, I did, I put one together, and as you can see, I've got uh, positive and negative going to the B plus, B minus, I, that's what I called it. VCC, to me, doesn't make any sense, uh, because I don't, uh, there's no transistors on this. Battery plus and battery minus make more sense to me. <clears throat> Then we have, this is the normally closed switch, the black one, and the normally open switch, a red one. Just happens to be what I had on hand. I have this LED, just a plain old yellow LED, and then I determined, I think this uses about 20 milliamps, and this is 5 volts and so with that I, I put whatever I think this is like a 150 ohm resistor uh, so here's a quick video and what you can see is that when you press the power button it, or the one button it turns on and the other one turns off so the nice thing about this is for the uh, normally open button, the one that turns it on, that can be actuated by 
anything that can close the circuit. It can be another relay, it can be a, uh, a momentary push button, it can be a switch, uh, it can be a, although your switch should be momentary, um, I believe you could even probably route a transistor through this. Um, if you had a circuit that just temporarily turned on for a second. Uh, I've got something that I'll be uh, doing a video of later of something I built to let me know when I get mail. And but it didn't use this circuit board. This is a, it was another one that I had made um, using perf board before I got this. So I had ten of these made, and um, once again, when I made it, I was I kind of did it in a hurry. I didn't put any mounting holes, and initially I thought I'd forgotten them. But what happened is I didn't know exactly where I was going to want them, and this thing I can drill mounting holes anywhere I want practically. You can see there's a ton of space in here. But that's also the other deal is that I've since redone this. Although I'll probably never, I mean the 10, one, 10 that I have will probably set me for life. Um, if I do order them, the, the replacement one is about half the size of this. Because once I, I figured out how to use the software, I figured out you could just, you can really put things close together and if I wanted to I could have surface mount uh, stuff on it um, I didn't want surface mount because it, that's a pain and I have tons and tons of through hole so you know oh and if you wanted to you can actually not use the LED you could uh, just bridge this with a wire and put in a, a an incandescent bulb of some kind, uh, but I mean LEDs are cheap and use a lot less power, so why not? Anyways, I think that's it. Um, later. So real quick, this is the uh, circuit I was telling you about. Uh, this is a just a simple latching relay and the way it works is that out here in my mailbox there's a plate connected to a uh, magnetic sensor basically it's one of these um, there's a whole rigmarole I had to go through to get these to they have a very high amount of pressure that you have to push them and I had to open them up and shorten the uh, the spring in them to make them and even then I still had to put uh, weights on that alright the way this works is when the mail gets put in, the light comes on, and then all you have to do, turn it off, is press this button.